Welcome to another microsurgical under tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Nassim. In the previous tutorial, I demonstrated the use of a technique I've developed with the injection of the bioceramic root repair material followed by the placement of a cone of, the, of a bioceramic putty into it. And I'd like to show you a couple of uh, post-ops with healing. This is tooth number four. Um, rather, tooth number five, the first premolar that had an apicoectomy with the technique that I mentioned. You can see the lesion, and this is a one-year follow-up of the of the case. You can see complete healing of the apex, and one year following the uh, placement uh, and following surgery and placement of the bioceramic retrofilling material. And here's another case of tooth number ten with the same technique that's been performed, a, an injection of bioceramic followed by the placement of a cone of putty through it. And here you can see also the one year follow up of the same tooth. There is a very good healing in the area. It's interesting if you notice that there is a little bit of breakdown at the very end of the retro preparation. This is one of the earlier cases that I had done and at that time I used to place the retrofilling and then really play around with it, try to completely clean every little bit of debris of the bioceramic from uh, the surface of the retro preparation. And um, by playing around with the onset material, I think you end up introducing by washing it off with lots of volume of water, you end up introducing too much water um, into the um, into the area and uh, I think that makes the very surface of it a little bit weaker and it can flake off a little bit later on. Of course this tooth has healed perfectly fine and the patient is asymptomatic but since then I have learned that after placement of the putty into the root repair material that it's best to just simply clean up the little bit of excess with a micro brush.